This technology has transformed everything. When you empower the kids, it allows them to see themselves in a multitude of ways that weren't there before. Everybody deserves the right to take control of their own health and wellness, people with and without an intellectual disability together. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of people need some help to do that. What prompted us to start the SOFIT program was seeing a big disparity between people who have intellectual disabilities and their caregivers and everybody else in the world. A lack of spaces and a lack of trainers or people who were able to adapt any exercises or any sort of education around health and wellness for people who learn differently or people of different abilities. The SOFIT model is centered around the four pillars of wellness, physical, nutritional, social, and emotional, as well as making sure we could get everybody involved. SOFIT started with just a half dozen of us. It immediately just clicked. It got me interested in exercise. Nell has really influenced the creation of the SOFIT program and its ongoing success. She was part of the group that sat for about 50 weeks straight while we went through all the lessons. She gave very candid feedback. She was able to really help steer what, what would work and what wouldn't work for people of all abilities. I started powerlifting a couple years ago and I thought it was insane to try it because I never saw myself doing anything of the sort and now it's something I just truly enjoy. I want to see what more I can do. We're on your time now, whenever you're ready. Good. Hips, finish. Yeah, down. There it is now. <laughs> that one made you work a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> nice work. Good job. So that was 195. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, that was huge. That's a 20 pound PR on the day. SoFit has helped Nell by giving her a lot more confidence, giving her a lot more knowledge and empowerment around her own health and wellness. And she's made that sustainable change. It's amazing training with him because he really knows how to work with people with disabilities and adapt things for their needs. I was reluctant to try it because I was stubborn and I never thought that nice. things would change for me. But I saw just how much it works. It gives me that support that I need. And the weight loss I've had and losing the 185 pounds if it can work for me, it can certainly work for anybody else. It changed my life a lot, actually. Getting the relationships, it helped me with that, with more friends. My mom's been my self-fit coach. The relationship between me and my mom is excelling even more. My health is amazing. I look amazing. Everything about it changed my life, and I'm really grateful. The SOFIT program spread from locally here in Minnesota to globally when Special Olympics International took it and endorsed it as one of their three fitness models for other programs to opt in with, and then started to spread around the globe. It's a really rewarding thing to hear the stories from people who have made major changes in their lives and their quality of life, who we've never met, who we've never talked to, and we probably will never meet. This is what Special Olympics needs. And I just see the SOFIT program as just taking it to the next level. It's a lifestyle. It's not just a eight-week program. All these pillars have to work together for a healthy lifestyle. People just need to, to be empowered and have access to the things that they need to have in order to be their best versions of themselves. We really want to help change lives and help other people have a healthier life.